So for juice, I soak the ponds for a whole night in cold water, drinking water. As you can see, it softens them so in the morning it's going to be easier for me to blend them. This is how they look, soft. Yeah. But for puree, I soak them in warm water, almost boiling water. This is now for making a puree. I give them like three, four hours. They're going to soak and they're going to be pretty soft. But now for the blending part, it's for the juice. That is how my juice looks after blending. Really sweet. It's, a, it's very delicious. That's the juice. This is the puree. I use my hands to remove all the impurities, the seeds and everything. It's a bit thick. You know that I'm going to use like a tomato sauce I'm going to use for food. I use my hands to just make sure everything is clean and removed. I don't blend that one. That's the one I use the hot water. You can use it um, like to put on meat, to put on um, chips, roast potatoes. Yeah. That's the puree. It's a bit thick. But it's not the thicker one. It's a thicker one that is a paste. This is not a paste. This is a puree. Now my puree is ready to be packed. You cannot pack it in plastic jars. Plastic reacts with the tamarind. It has to be melamine or glass. So uh, it's ready now. I'll pack it in jars and I'll put it in the fridge. It can be put in the fridge for a week, you know, as you use it. You, you decide how you want to use it for season. You can season all kinds of foods. So um, this, I would say, I'm going to use it for one full week. Then I'll make more after one week. And see the container is a glass container. Uh, that is that the uh, tamarind reacts with uh, plastics. Because it has a lot of acid. It reacts with plastics. Uh, it can be poisonous. It's not good packed in plastics. So that's why you have to use a glass. Like you can see I'm doing, I'm packing it in a glass container. And don't forget the puree, you must refrigerate. If you don't put it in the fridge, then it's going to get spoiled. So 